friends, my name is Miss Johnston and I'm going to be your art teacher. I thought I would start the year with video introductions to help you get to know me a little bit better before we begin. First, I'll tell you a little bit about my family. This is my best friend in the world and my fiance, Cam. He works as the ninth grade English teacher at Hillside in the Boise School District. And together we have a blended family. These are our two seven-year-old daughters, Ellie and Hayden. Hayden is Cam's biological daughter and Ellie is mine. But when the girls met when they were teeny tiny, it was like having instant twins. They are hilarious, tiny little weirdos, and I'm super excited to tell you about all the funny things that they do. Something else you should know about me is that I'm definitely an animal person. In fact, all of our dogs came from the Humane Society where they were rescued after having abusive pasts. So it's now my mission in life to make the rest of their lives awesome. This is the newest member of our family. Her name is Frida and she is a Chawini. This is my girl, Asia, and she's probably the most gentle and timid thing you'll ever meet. And last but not least, we have my oldest girl, Eska, who also happens to have three legs. I'm so lucky to have all of these doggies as my pets. We also have a cat. She's all right. You should definitely know that teaching art is my favorite thing to do. I love my job. Here are some of the memories that I've had with students from Centennial and from Sawtooth Middle School, which is where I taught for five years. Last year for the first time ever, Centennial participated in an art contest called Chalk Heart, which is an amazing cause where the students selected a student written poem based on gender equality and they had one hour to complete a drawing in a live venue. Our students won first place, which was a huge accomplishment out of the entire state. The year before that, my Satu students had an amazing opportunity to paint in Freak Alley, which is a place downtown Boise where artists are allowed to paint on huge brick walls in an alley. We were the first school to be able to paint there, which was super awesome. The last student accomplishment I'll tell you about is when one of my students from Sawtooth won an art contest that had 85 countries participating and 300,000 students that entered and she was one of the top winners, which was pretty darn cool. Another really important part of my life is music and you'll soon find out that that's something I really like to share with my students. Finding new music is something that brings me so much joy. Some of my other favorites are Odessa, Quinn XCII, Lewis the Child. Uh, I also really enjoy lo-fi and most EDM music. You should also know that I really enjoy lame jokes, puns, and April Fool's Day is my favorite holiday. This is a video of an April Fool's morning prank. If you can't tell, their breakfasts are frozen. April Fool's! The last thing that I want to share with you about myself today is how passionate I am about art in my own life. Uh, I want to show you some of my own pieces that I've made just so that you can see uh, what a difference it makes for me to be able to express myself in that way and my goal is to help you find that in your own life. So these are some of the pieces that I've made for a series called Anatomy of the Female Soul. It was my very first solo art show and it was held at Flying M on a first Thursday and it was a huge deal for me as an artist. A lot of people would call this series sort of dark and stormy, which a lot of my artwork is, but the series was based off of the concept of feminism, so trying to express the female perspective. I did that by taking um, different objects and placing them near different parts of the body that hold inherent meaning. Um, so that was the concept behind this series, and I was lucky enough to have it uh, displayed in a gallery for a first Thursday show, which was a pretty big deal for me. 
I was also lucky enough to have one of my pieces from this series selected as the cover for the Boise Weekly. So I redid it huge in my classroom so my students could see and it was printed and all of Boise was able to see it. I recently completed another series that's based off of the 10 symptoms of anxiety. I tried to show those symptoms symbolically with the use of food and self-portraiture. This series was lucky enough to get a place in a solo art show at one of the local galleries in Boise, which is one of my biggest accomplishments as an artist. My fiance Cam and I also recently published a children's book that we're pretty excited about. The concept of the book is explaining blended families to young children. Cam wrote the story and I illustrated all of the pictures and the book is now for sale all over Boise. So that's a little bit about myself, but I'm really excited to get to know you. I will be practicing your names and we will get started on a couple of rules and procedures that you guys need to know. So let's get started.